Well, this is going to be a video on how to make a super duty, super heavy duty kitty cat litter scooper because I get tired of getting these things. They keep breaking and they, they, they get stress cracks in them and then all of a sudden they just bust. So we got here a cheap ass freaking made in Vietnam. <laughs> they don't like cats over there, man. Well, we're going to freaking sacrifice this little garden spade for her. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to cut some slots in it. With the old cutoff wheel. And after that, it's going to be a sift through device for cat litter with a turd poker when you get down there in the bottom. And uh, with a sturdy handle made out of steel. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this probably could be fixed with panel adhesive anyway. So I'm getting tired of buying these things, man. They're like five bucks a pop, and every time they last not that long. This was four dollars and something. So let's cut it up. First, to cut slots in this, you want to use a cutoff wheel, not a grinding wheel. I didn't realize I said, wait a minute, I got a grinding wheel on here, so I changed it. And um, actually, I made a little tool. You need a real thin uh, wrench to fit on there. Kind of, oh, this is, I don't know, this is some kind of junk wrench for bicycles or something. I don't really know. Found it in here. Use my Dremel tool, opened it up just a hair and uh fits on there perfect so that holds that in place while you unscrew this locker that locker is comes off with this tool and that's how you change the wheel and this tool stores in the handle right here like it just goes right back in the end of the handle so now we're going to start cutting this thing up um with the cutoff wheel because it'll go a lot faster now you see i used up a whole cutting wheel which is a little over a dollar <laughs> And uh, I'm going to go to the grinding wheel, touch that up, probably open those up a little bit, mo a little bit more, and uh, we're going to finish coat it. Okay, the slots are, you can see they're about as big as the other ones. You can see that good? Just as good a size as the other ones. It's not as quite as big, but it don't need to be because it's strong. <laughs> and it's got one of them turd breaker pokers and you get on the bottom of the litter pan so high performance man next we're going to give it a coat of this rust oleum rust reformer oxidize and ref you know there's no rust on it anyway but it makes it into a protected paintable surface it'll look nice with a nice uh, flat black color maybe i'll put some professional silver over it too well we're going to put some rust oleum professional high performance uh enamel over that um and uh, that'll be the finished product, and we'll be testing it out. I don't think you need to see the test, but I'm sure it's going to work. It's never going to break. <laughs> never going to have a problem like this. See that? They get stress cracks. Now, I can fix that with um, panel adhesive. I <laughs> probably will. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but this is going to be my that'll be my backup scooper. This will be my main heavy-duty three cat turd three three tur three cats worth of turds scooper upper so performance enamel on there now well there you go she's a beauty wooden handle um steel <laughs> you know made in vietnam where they don't like cats but we modified this so it'd be cat friendly um <laughs> so ready to uh, for action man your your super heavy duty uh high leverage um high impact you know deep dig cat litter scooper so there you go a product they should make but maybe i'll hey maybe i'll sell them on ebay i don't know no i'm just kidding but uh that's how you make one 